Okay, guys. Um, today's video is a little different, but um, this is gonna be our first podcast video. Uh, to where we just talk about the wiffle ball league and all that stuff. So um, let's start off with the topic of the day, which we'll have a topic every time we do a video like this. So um, today's topic is fastballs. So, um, basically we're going to talk about how, like, throwing the fastball and how it's just totally different than every other pitch. So, um, Tyler, what do you want to say? It's, um, the fastball is just, like, harder to hit than any other pitch because there is, like, the beach bombs, for example, he, he can throw fast and, yeah. 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 I mean, I would have to say the fastball is always like that's the pitch you start off with all the time. Uh, um, but um, it's a pitch that you could like, you know, if if you throw it fast, it's gonna get you a strike unless your bat the batter is like good with that, you know. Like anything you said, then. Uh, no. But, um, it's just totally different than, like, every other pitch. Because, you know, a curveball, it, it could go at any other speed. It doesn't matter the speed as long as, it, as it's curving, you know. But a fastball, it could you could put it wherever you want. And as long as it's going fast, it's a strike, you know. As long as your batter has a okay eye, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the next topic? Sliders. Sliders. Okay. Sliders. I think you're more better with the sliders. Um, Brayden, so anything to say about the sliders? Um, so a slider is basically like where you just throw it and it just goes off to the side. Yeah. And like basically it's like. The, yeah, people yeah. think it, they will hit it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, how many times have we seen, like, clips of sliders and it's just like, oh, yeah, that was a, that was a, that was a good pitch. I, I totally missed that. Like, here, here's some clips of sliders where we failed to hit them. All right, the first pitch is a foul back towards me. Enough on that sliders topic. Um, what do you say we talk about hitting? Yeah. Um, hitting is just such a powerful thing in this game. I mean, you could hit. I mean, you could be the worst pitcher in the league, but as long as you hit, yeah, like, I mean, even if you're a guy who's on the bench all the time, even if you can, if you hit, you're gonna be on the team because you can. If you could be a sub to like a pitcher or something, if your pitcher's having a rough day, I mean like. Here, um, I don't know if you guys watch MLW, but that's another wiffle ball league, and. Do you know who R.J. Walgate is? Yes, he's a pitcher. He's okay with the hitting, but. That's the thing. He's not the best hitter. So if you have a a hitter who is not the best pitcher, not the best fielder, then I think he could have a good sub. Mm-hmm. Um, hitting the best team probably hitting right now is probably the Bulls. I I truly think it's the Flames. I mean, if you look overall, I threw a perfect game. You hit a walk off. Mm. I've got nothing. I mean, yeah, but to be fair though, here's the thing: he has a lot of hits. You have a lot of hits. Yeah. And the speed. Yeah. Um, uh, beach bums. Ooh, they. I mean, they only played one game, and we're already threw a perfect game. The first. Yeah, they're we're going into the All Star break, but um, 
I mean, they threw a perfect game, but he didn't really hit that game. Yeah. I think he only scored like three, four runs. Yeah. And it, most of it was just me. Oh, well, well, yeah. And me being okay pitcher. But that was really it. I mean, you can't really say that he's the top level hitter. Yeah, because he only played one of them. Yeah. That's, I me think and you already played like two or three. Yeah. You've played two. Yeah. But, um, I think that's going to end it for batting. How about we just talk about now the team? So, yeah. I mean, here. I'll talk about the slammers for you. Mm -hmm. Top level pitching. Your pitching is probably percentile rank, number one. Mm -hmm. Human being rank, number one. Hitting, number two. I really think number two. I think number one. No, bananas. I think it's just hard to go by. Um, here you could talk about the Bulls. The Bulls are just a good team, human level, tier two. Um, hitting is like number rank three. I mean, of course, you guys know that I am the Bulls, but I mean. I do think my pitching is okay, but I feel like it's not the best. You have to probably yeah. Know. Yours is like rank two ish. Yeah. Cause after that Bulls game, I think you were uh rank one before that. And like in like a few days, we're starting the home run derby, and I honestly. I think the beach bums or the bulls are no one. I mean, here's the thing. I think for me in the home run derby, I'm going to do well. Not as well as I think I am. I think you're going to do well. I mean, if you already, if you saw, this is the matchups. It's me versus Braden, and it's Tyler versus Greg. You have the top level hitters in our league up against tier two. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you have anything here? Talk about the home run derby. So, the home run derby is. Who do you think you're going to play? I'm probably going to probably place probably like. I feel like I'm gonna, not going to beat Matthew, but if I do, I feel like I'm going to lose. So, I'll either be in like. You're last. saying you might be second? Second or last. Even if you, like, if you were to beat me, you're not going to win. Yeah. Because you're going to have to go up against either Tyler or Greg. Yeah. And that's going to be a tough matchup. Uh, we are doing five outs. Um, I mean, I know you have, that's the thing, he hasn't even heard about who he's versing. But um, are you now nervous? About the home run derby. Very. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be be me versus you, and then um Brayden versus Greg, and that sounded a little unfair. So like, it would have been a the top two tier hitters versus each other, yeah. and then like the rank two hitters, and like now I'm like pretty scared yeah. that I'm not gonna be winning and like. It's just going to be, like, very hard to be, because I'm, like, batting second in the home run derby, and I'm after Greg, so, um, that, I'm going to see how much home runs he's going to hit in, like, probably hit, like, ten before I get five outs. Yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. You're nervous. You don't, you think... You're still believing in yourself, but like I'm just yeah. nervous. Yeah. So, and I also think um Greg is gonna win. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on Greg and Tyler? Um, I feel like Tyler would beat Greg because he's a lefty, 
and usually lefties are good hitters against righties because a righty is going to be throwing the balls up at him. So, and he has hit, like, all his home runs are off righties. So, I feel like he is going to beat him and win. That's true, because, I mean, Tyler is the only lefty in this league. And, of course, one of us has to pitch. So, I, I think he does have an advantage. Um, one thing I've noticed with you, though, you're hitting a lot of opposite field. I mean, you're hitting them, but here's some clips as I talk. You're hitting them over the roof, not so much, like, cause, um, the tree and the foul pole on the right. You're hitting them right over the roof. I think I only hit one over there. It was against the bananas. Yeah. Yeah, you only hit one. Or maybe, well, I think it was two. Yeah. I think one of them was intentional, though, just to get out of the inning. Yeah. Yes. But I think another was actually real. But you have a lot of opposite field. I think that could help you. Because, you know, we're going to be hitting them that way. And if you're hitting them that way, that makes it a, a little more competition. Because now you have the whole field. Because, I mean, not that we've hit a lot of home runs, but if you... um look at it i don't um a lot of the, all of like the beach bums the bulls the bananas we all hit it there so um yeah i think that's gonna wrap it up for today's podcast we'll see you guys in the next game or the next podcast oh my. <coughs> oh my.